You won't believe how many useless background services are quietly killing your FPS and slowing down your PC. And the crazy part is, they're enabled by default. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I doubled my FPS and unlocked way better performance just by disabling a handful of unnecessary features that Windows hides in plain sight. These tweaks will make a huge difference, give you the maximum FPS and smoother gameplay. So let's dive into it. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, let's tackle a lesser known tweak that can make a noticeable difference in your online gaming, disabling Nagel's algorithm. It often causes increased latency, input delay, and inconsistent responsiveness. Press Windows plus X and open Device Manager. Expand the Network Adapters section and locate your active network device, usually the one you're connected to via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Right-click on it and choose Properties, then switch to the Advanced tab. In this section, scroll through the list to find TCP checksum offload and large send offload. These two settings work hand in hand with Nagel's algorithm and can cause latency issues in real-time applications like online gaming. Set both of them to disabled using the drop-down menu. Once done, click OK to apply the changes and close the window. With Nagel's algorithm effectively turned off, you'll likely notice snappier response times and less lag in multiplayer games, making your competitive experience feel far more precise and reliable. Now, one of the key settings we can disable to boost FPS and performance is the high precision event timer. Disabling this setting in Device Manager can really help reduce delays and enhance your gaming experience. Let's dive into how you can turn it off for better system responsiveness. In Device Manager, go to the System Devices section and look for the high precision event timer. This component, while useful for precise timekeeping, can negatively impact FPS on certain systems by introducing unnecessary delays, especially in fast-paced games. Disabling it can lead to smoother gameplay and better overall performance. I've personally disabled it on my system and noticed a tangible improvement in FPS and responsiveness. To disable HPET, right-click on it and select Disable. After making the change, restart your PC to ensure the tweak takes effect. Turning off the high precision event timer can reduce latency and help your system deliver more stable and consistent frames, which is crucial for a smoother gaming experience. Now let's talk about one of the most powerful tools for optimizing Windows performance, Ultimate Windows Tweaker. This tool offers a variety of advanced tweaks that can unlock significant performance improvements, especially for gamers looking to squeeze out every frame. To get started, head over to my official website, up2packs.com. Once there, navigate to the FPS Boost section. You'll easily spot the post that matches the title and thumbnail of this video. Simply scroll down a bit and you'll find a direct download link waiting for you. The best part? It's quick and hassle-free, so you can start tweaking your system right away without any complications. Once you've launched Ultimate Windows Tweaker, you'll be greeted with an interface containing multiple tabs. The first thing we'll do is head over to the Performance tab. In this section, it's important to replicate my settings exactly by disabling the features I've turned off. Some key settings to disable include tablet input services, Microsoft Edge preloading, printer spooling services. Also, make sure to disable the search indexing feature. While it might sound important for fast search results, it can consume system resources and slow down performance, especially when running games. Keep in mind that disabling search indexing will stop Windows Search from working in the future, so only disable it if you don't rely on it. Before applying any changes, make sure to create a restore point using the option at the bottom of the tool. This acts as a safety net, allowing you to easily revert changes if something doesn't go as planned. Once you've double-checked your settings, click Apply to save the adjustments. Next, move to the Security tab. There's no need to make any changes here, so leave everything as is. After that, go to the Privacy tab and enable all the privacy options. These settings control the background services that collect data and send it to Microsoft. Enabling these options will prevent unnecessary data collection, freeing up resources for better performance while gaming. 
Once you've enabled the privacy settings, click Apply Tweaks. Finally, navigate to the additional tab and locate the network adapter onboard processor setting. Many modern motherboards include a built-in network processor, but this feature is often disabled by default. With it disabled, your CPU handles network-related tasks, which can hurt your gaming performance. Enable the network adapter onboard processor, apply the tweaks, and close the tool. Next, let's apply some powerful registry tweaks to boost your gaming performance. Open your Windows registry folder and apply tweaks like Disable Game DVR, Memory Tweaks, and Power Tweak by double-clicking each .reg file. These safe and effective edits will free up system resources improving your FPS. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Let's move on with a tweak that had a massive impact on my system's performance. It literally doubled my FPS in some games and significantly reduced background resource usage. Open the Windows search bar and type Delivery, then select Allow Downloads from Other PCs from the results. Now here's the thing. By default, Windows uses your computer as a part of its peer-to-peer -peer update distribution network. That means your system could be quietly uploading parts of Windows updates to other PCs over the internet or your local network, consuming your bandwidth and using CPU cycles in the background. Disabling this service immediately freed up system resources on my end and contributed to smoother gameplay and faster loading times. Now let's move on to another tweak that might seem minor at first glance, but can seriously improve your in-game experience, especially if you've ever been interrupted mid-fight. Go to the Start menu, type Focus Assist, and open it. Focus Assist is a built-in Windows feature that manages notifications, but if left unchecked, those random pop-ups and alerts can break your immersion, cause sudden stutters, or even force your game to minimize, all of which can ruin your performance. To stop this from happening, set Focus Assist to Alarms Only. This ensures only the most critical notifications get through, keeping your screen clean and focused. You can also schedule Focus Assist to turn on automatically during gaming sessions or when running full screen applications. Not only does this keep distractions away, but it also reduces unnecessary background processes, giving you a slight but noticeable boost in FPS and system responsiveness. Now let's dive into the privacy and security settings, an area most people overlook, but it can quietly eat away at your system resources while compromising your privacy. Head over to privacy and security. Here, you'll see several toggles related to personalized ads, content recommendations, and tracking. Turn all of them off. These options let Windows and other apps gather personal data in the background, which not only raises privacy flags, but also drains valuable CPU cycles and memory. Disabling them helps streamline your system, reduce background activity, and create a more performance-focused gaming environment. Next, scroll to the speech settings and disable online speech recognition, especially if you're not using features like Cortana or voice typing. Then move on to inking and typing personalization and turn that off too. This feature collects your keystrokes and handwriting input to improve suggestions, but it's unnecessary for gaming and adds unwanted overhead. Finally, under diagnostics and feedback, make sure optional diagnostic data is disabled. This prevents Windows from constantly sending detailed system reports to Microsoft. Unless you're part of the Windows Insider program or need feedback features, keeping this on serves no real benefit 
and can impact performance. Turning all of these off helps reduce background communication and frees up system resources, leading to smoother gameplay and faster overall system response. Now let's clean up app permissions, which can silently allow unnecessary apps to run in the background and eat up valuable system resources. Start with location. Unless you're using GPS-based tools or location-aware apps, it's best to turn this off to prevent constant background tracking. Next, go into camera settings. If you're not regularly using video calls or streaming, disable camera access entirely. However, if you do use apps like Zoom, Discord, or Microsoft Teams, you can leave it on just for those apps. Then under notifications, turn off app access. This helps prevent annoying pop-up spam and reduces CPU usage, especially during gaming sessions. Move to messaging and disable it unless you actually use Windows built-in messaging tools. Most gamers don't. When you get to radios, such as Bluetooth, it's generally fine to leave that enabled if you use wireless peripherals, but it's still worth reviewing. Finally, go through permissions like contacts, phone calls, call history, and email. If you're not using your PC for communication or syncing with mobile services, turn all of these off. Disabling unnecessary permissions helps reduce background processes, frees up RAM and CPU power, and creates a more optimized environment for gaming. To finish off our optimization process, let's take care of a feature that sounds useful on paper, but can quietly drag down your system's performance if left enabled. Head over to Windows Settings, click on Gaming, and then select Game Bar. This feature is designed to offer convenient tools like screen recording, performance monitoring, and instant sharing. But the reality is, it runs multiple background services that can eat into your CPU and RAM, even when you're not using them. On low-end and even mid-tier PCs, this can lead to stuttering, slower responsiveness, and lower FPS during gameplay. Unless you actively rely on it for recording or streaming, it's best to disable the game bar completely. Doing so ensures your system puts all its power where it matters most, directly into your games, giving you a smoother, more focused gaming experience without unnecessary overhead. If this helped boost your FPS and overall performance, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more killer tweaks. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next one.